Good morning everyone. Today me and my dog here are going to teach you, or I'm busy just going to show you, um, different things I've taught him and whatnot. He is a beautiful dog. He's a Bichon Frise mixed with, I guess it's just a terrier. And it makes a beautiful dog just like him. Look, look at how beautiful he is. Look at how beautiful he is. Look how beautiful he is. And, uh, at the moment, me and him are gonna do some tricks for you. I'm pretty sure you'll like one of them. Right now, Harvey, stand up, hold on, stand up. <laughs> Sometimes it don't really work for dog. <laughs> Harvey, can you stand up, please? What are you doing? No, hold on. Maybe you'll maybe you'll listen to me if I have a, if I have food. Now, I'm using Tasty Bites. Tasty Bites are really, really, really good for dogs, um, especially any dog. You know, if I was to hold it up to his face, he would not eat it for the sheer fact that I've taught him not to be greedy. And if I put that there and he just won't bite it, he won't even eat it. If I leave the room, he won't eat it because he'll wait for my permission. Uh, so pretty much, this is like really cheap. You get like about, I'd say about 30 of these. I'd say about 30 of these or maybe 50. And they do help with dogs and stuff like that. You know, quite healthy for a dog. Okay, so now we've got one. Bobby, come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, alright. Look at this. Sit down. Alright, give me your paw. Alright, so that's the most standard one. The paw is no stay, stay. So the paw is the most standard one. All you do is make sure you put your hand like this and point at his paw. Keep on tapping his paw until like he would put it like up like this. And if he puts it up like this. Grab his paw and then shake it and say, good boy, and then give him a treat. And do this repeatedly a few times and you should get him to actually perform it. So watch, we'll do it again. Harvey, Harvey, give us your paw. Harvey, sit up. Sit. Give us your paw. Give us your paw. There you go. Now watch, another one you can teach him as well, which is... High five, Harvey. High five, high five. High five, Harvey, high five. Watch this, see? He high five me. High five is basically, you know, paw, only it's a bit different. Okay, you can probably see everything. I had to adjust the camera. Right, watch. Another thing I taught him as well, which is, it's kind of hard to do, but the best time to do it is whenever a dog is extremely hyper with the yips. If you don't know what the yips are for a dog, the yips are a burst of energy that a dog gets uh, when being excited. So if someone rings on the doorbell, if someone knocks on the door, if it's a new person on the street, if it's a new dog on the street, there's a potential for getting the yips, but it's a perfect time to actually try and teach him this, right? Basically, the way it works is if you hold a thing here and you do that like very lightly, like a fishing rod, like a wee, like, right? If you do that over his head and do that like a few times and say, up, hobby, up, up, hobby, up, look at that, he jumps. Right. Now, I've also taught him up and high five as well. So watch, Harvey, up, high five, high five, high five, high five. Harvey, up, up, Harvey, up, high five. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not perfect because I'm still trying to teach him that. And all right, so we'll teach him. We'll, I'll show you something else, right? Go around. Go around. Good boy. <laughs> Don't know what that was. For some reason, my dog likes to. If you do that to him, right, and say go around, Harvey, go around. He will do like a little circle and then roll over. Now he keeps lying down without my permission, which I don't understand. I think he's just tired, right? But if you would like to tap the floor, he would just lie down like he is doing. The lie down one. If you want to teach him the lie down one. It, yeah, it's a bit difficult and you'll have to be a bit aggressive with your dog. Um, don't be too aggressive, my god. I don't mean like, you know, you're punching and beating your dog. I mean, all you need to do, right, is say, Harvey, lie down, right? And if he doesn't understand it, just, just pretty much push his body to the ground and then say, good boy, and give him a treat. Do this a few times, right? And then he should be, he should learn the trick eventually. Roll over, roll over. Hey, he rolls into the camera. And uh, to get him to do that, it's pretty much the same one with the lie down one. Only you're rolling him. 
So if you want to teach your dog that, do that as well. If you've actually researched online to teach a dog a trick or to teach a dog anything, you need apparently to do that trick 20 plus times until the dog fully understands. You can do this with any dog, right? Depending on the size of the breed, it wouldn't even matter. Right, now the best trick I want to show you is a trick I've taught with his ears. And because I've got a piece of food here, he'll see it. His right ear here, his right ear here, if it flicks backwards or if it flicks black at all, he's saying no, right? And if, it, if the left ear flicks backwards or anything, he is saying yes to what you're saying. This is probably the hardest trick I've ever taught a dog. It's one of the most effective and one of the, one of the most interesting. If you teach a dog how to say yes and no, it opens a lot of doors. If you want to teach him yes and no, right? First, you have to say, do you want it? By holding it like near his face, like here, right? Harvey, oh my God, can you eat faster, please? You used to eat so fast. Yeah, these are also very good because you could probably put like a whole bowl of these inside like one place and maybe like a tablet inside on like one of them. And I think you would put it good. Now this one's really, really, really hard to show off, so. Hopefully, if I move the camera here, I can show you since what I see. Right, look at his ears when I'm doing this for him. Harvey, Harvey, do you want it? Yes or no? See? Hold on, Harvey, do you want it? Yes or no? Harvey, do you want it? Yes or no? Harvey, do you want it? Yes or no? Yes or no? See? See what, see what he's doing there? He's turning his head to one side to signify that he's saying yes to it. Now this is really cool, right? For the sheer fact that sometimes he does say no to certain things and it's amazing. It's amazing, right? Seeing a dog say yes and no is one of the coolest things ever, right? If you can teach your dog this, right? I think I might even be one of the first people, right? To actually teach just a regular old dog yes and no, right? And I find that so amazing that I can do that, right? So watch, we'll do it one more time. Harvey, do you want it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Good boy. Right, now the trick sometimes doesn't work. I know for you fans out there that know dogs quite well, the dog's ears would go back whenever they're, you know, whenever they hear something or whenever they're anxious. Just like if he puts both of his ears back, then he doesn't know or he's anxious. Yes or no? Perfect, see? I'm not using any like equipment or anything, you can see that. I'm not using any equipment like here or like over here. Just watch, Harvey, you want it? Yes or no? See, there's nothing here, nothing over, over there. This is just emptiness, you can see emptiness. There's nothing there. It's He's honestly just a really good dog. Like, just look at this boy. He's so cute. Anyway, Harvey, do you want it last time? Yes or no? Good boy. And then you would give him it, but let's just do a wee trick. Up, oh, up Harvey, up, oh, up Harvey. Whee! All right, give your paw. Let me show you how I actually taught the dog the trick in the first place, All right? Make him, every time you say, Harvey, do you want it? Yes or no, right? And if he, if he would put this ear back, you have to say, okay, and put the food away, right? So he understands that he's saying no to the food, right? Now, if he says yes to it, and he's eating it just like that, right? What you want to do is say, yes, and just wiggle his ears. Yes, 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 no. Yes, no. Yes. No, yes, no. So then he understands which one is yes and which one is no, right? So then, after he's learned which one to do, he learns how to push both of his ears back simultaneously. Then, it'll make him able to say yes and no. Harvey, do you want another one, yes or no? Yes or no? See, it is beautiful. <laughs> By far, one of the coolest dogs. This has been me, Ryan with my little dog Harvey, teaching you how to say yes and no. So Harvey, look at the camera, Harvey, look at the camera. Bye bye, bye bye. Goodbye guys, have a good morning. Also, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Me and this dog here will probably go out the back and I'll probably, I'll probably like, you know, I'll probably tell him to do some things, maybe just, I don't know, tell him to go chase a football or whatever. And, <laughs> Trying to smell my hat. <laughs> what are you doing? 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 Oh. Yeah, so this dog really likes me. This is probably my third dog and probably the best dog I've ever had. Because I don't know what it is, but he's just really, really, really smart. 
He's smarter than the average dog, like in my opinion. So it'll have to come down to if your dog is smart or not. But if you can teach this trick to your dog, this is amazing. Harvey, do you want a treat? Do you want a treat, Harvey? Do you want a treat, Harvey? Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat, Harvey? Do And he's saying yes already, as you can probably see. Harvey, do you want it? Yes or no? Harvey, do you want it? Yes or no? Yes or no, Harvey? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Harvey, do you want to end the video? Yes or no? <laughs> okay, here you go. Good boy. So anyway, we'll see you next time. Have a very good morning. Make sure you treat your dogs with respect. I treat my dog Harvey with respect. Um, he's one of the family. By the way, a dog is really, really, really good for families that aren't bonding together because if he does something stupid in the living room right you all have something to talk about right so in my opinion no matter what kind of dog it is just as long as it's a nice docile dog because of the way you've trained it and the way you've taught it right make sure you teach him at least some tricks so he's obedient right isn't that right Harvey Harvey you want to end the video boy Alright, so thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next time. I bring videos out every single week, so enjoy your weekend, and see you later. Bye bye. Where's the button on this thing? Uh, hey dog, where's the button? Where's the button? Oh, it is right here. It's right here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Are you were perfect.